All right, whenever you're ready, take it away. Okay, so my topic is ski club. Um, I think Brighton should have one. It's pretty fun. You know, we can have hot chocolate like this every day if we want to, if we have ski clubs, so that are not there. Um, who here has ever gone skiing before? Raise your hand. Okay, case in point, if you live in Utah, you ski. If you don't, you're either a liar or you shouldn't live here, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for those of you that just raised your hand, you proved my point of why we need a ski club. There's so many people that would be members of it, and it's a way to help relieve student stress. Uh, there's a Harvard study that they looked at a bunch of college-bound students, this big number to be exact, six, I can't say that, I'm not good at numbers, but <laughs> <She's over> <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. But, they looked at them from across 100 <laughs> institutions and found that suicidal thoughts were reported among all students surveyed. And that's really dark and really bad. And it was across all minorities and genders. And the study further goes into if they have more extracurriculars and stuff and options available to keep them preoccupied can help relieve that stress. And skiing is also really good for your physical health. Um, this is an Olympic skier. Those are his legs. Don't you want those? Pretty. They're nice looking. Don't look at those legs. So they're pretty great for your health. Um, and then Bright needs more extracurriculars. It's either you play a sport like soccer or basketball or anything like that, and it's either that or you gotta go play Dungeons and Dragons. So you know there's there's kind of just two extremes, and we need a few more options in there. And I think with Utah's mountains, oh, yeah. it's a really good idea. To, you know, have a ski club or such <laughs> close proximity. Um, my solution, my solution side, um, Brian clearly needs a ski club. My pulls is to add one. Um, it's going to function to how other sports clubs work. Um, it's going to occur during fifth period, and you have to transport yourself there. It's actually going to start during fourth, so you have time to get lunch and your gear and then head up to the mountain and go for fifth period. And it's going to be like all the other sports clubs and count for credit. Um, and then their club will also meet and decide if they want to have after school programs that day or on the weekends or whenever because it's also again like sports club. Um, so what is the club truly about? It's going to have two sections, one for advanced skiers that are going to be able to you know, freestyle and just kind of do whatever they want in the slopes. And then there's also going to be a competitive side where if you actually want to race against other skiers and stuff, this club can serve as a practice. Um, but it won't be like really rigid. You won't have to pick one or the other. You can choose both. You know, one day you want to be competitive, the other day you just want to fall down the mountain for fun. You know, who? You. I, was, I liked that. <laughs> um, so club is for everybody at Brighton, except you got to be a senior or a junior. Partly due to transportation, you have to get yourself up there. We don't want to pay for a bus because that's way too expensive and annoying complications when it goes up the mountains and stuff. Um, it's also to limit the number of members. So as you see, everybody raise their hand. A lot of people in here would be like, oh, ski club, that's fun. And I get, you know, lifetime fitness credit for joining it, so I'm out like that, as sports clubs do. But we have to limit the number of members, so like registration deadlines. And you also be required to have over a 2.5 GPA, just like any other sports club. Uh, the club fee is $145, but you have to pay that yourself, or you have to have a season pass. Brighton, I talked to them, they said they can't give us a discount to their other programs. They don't, so it has to be universal across the board. Um, and then you must have your own gear or pay a $60 fee to have that. Um, the club will be monitored by a sponsor. It's just going to be either a faculty member at school or a part-time coach. Uh, I could try to convince administration to let a student do it, but that most likely would not work because they don't trust us. Um, when? So there's no more, you don't need to Ferris Bueller this class, you know. It's a ski club, so no more skipping school to go skiing on good powder days. It's going to take place, so the club technically starts during lunch, but you'll have the ability to, you know, eat lunch, do whatever you want. And then fifth period is when you have to be up at the mountain and check in, and you have to meet someone there and say, hi, I'm here. I'm going to go on the mountain. I'll let you know when I'm leaving. Toodles. Um, and that's it. You need your own transportation like we discussed. It's about a 30 minute drive, so you just have to manage your own time there or else you're tired or late, just like SeaTech. Um, where it's going to be at Bryant Ski Resort just because it's really close. Um, 
Um, and they have a previous program for middle school and high schoolers, which is their Blitz program. It does the exact same thing, but it's after school rather than during school. So I talked to them, they said they would be able to let us in for that. And then, okay, well, no video for you. Anyways, okay, I'll try it again, give me a sec. But basically this is just a video, um, a short one of Brighton skiing. like 15 seconds but just brain's a beautiful resort it's a great mountain um, a lot of people go there it's really great things it's taking too long. okay there's this person skiing down the mountain to really fun music so you get the image but some positives of the ski club it's very easy to start you just have to fill out an application and submit it to uh Mr. Mitchell, the vice principal, which I have done, and we're in the process of going back and forth for it. But it won't be initiated until the next ski season, because this one's already over, if it gets approved. And it doesn't cost money for the school. Um, and skiing is really popular, so a lot of people will want to do it, pursue it for a long time. A lot of money will be going to it. Issues with it is the class would need to count for credit in order to take up time in school. And that means I have to appeal to administration, that snowboarding and skiing would be like more of a sports club than a recreational one and I would have to talk to the district about that to get its approval to be considered a sport which it should be because it is an Olympic sport so and the need and the need slash no need for monitoring we have to discuss who the head of the club is and if they would trust us enough to monitor it alone or just with the Brighton officials up at the resort and here's my work cited. Thank you.